hi everyone welcome or welcome back so today we're going to be doing a little get ready with me and we're going to do a pop of color and today's color is blue i'm so excited blue is my favorite color so let's get into it And I'm gonna be using a mix of new and old products. I don't have that many new products, but there is some sprinkled in here. So I'm first gonna start off with this LA Girl setting spray to help prep my skin. I really love this spray. I love the way it makes my skin feel. It just feels really, really good and refreshing. You can also use this to set your makeup, but I have a different setting spray that I haven't used in a while, so we're gonna use it for that. And for actual primer, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip. This is a really, really nice primer, and I actually like the consistency of it. It feels really nice, and I really love the way that it makes my makeup look. So we're gonna go in with this. I use about two pumps. So I kinda spread it a little bit, and then I pat it in. I'm really making sure to get it around my nose because that's where my makeup tends to fade. I also forgot to put this on earlier, but I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. lip oil in the shade Jam Session. I did an Aquaphor treatment last night, so my lips feel so good, but I'm still gonna put this on just to keep my lips hydrated. So while I'm letting this primer sit in my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the eyebrows. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I think, what shade is this? Hmm. It's in the shade Neutral Brown. This pencil is super precise and it has such a fine tip to it. I really, really love it. That's my kind of brow pencil. So I'm gonna just quickly do my eyebrows. I feel like every time I do my eyebrows, I have to like not talk so I can do it. So for foundation, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation in the shade Dark 157W. I don't think I've ever featured this on my channel, but I used to love this foundation, so beautiful. I think I filmed a video and then I was like, this is actually trash, so I didn't even end up uploading it. But yeah, I'm gonna use this. I put my mom onto this foundation. I don't know if it's gonna match. I'm more neutral, but yeah, this might be a little too warm, but it is what it is. I love the consistency of this. It's so, it's on the thinner side. It feels so lightweight. Oh, I love it. Anissa Beauty Pinnacle Foundation Brush, clean but stained. I love this brush. So we're gonna go ahead and, ooh, stamp this in. It spreads really nicely. Sometimes I forget how good stuff is until I use it again. And I'm like, but actually, this is good. Ooh, yeah. I actually have my hair out today, y'all. And my little fro, my hair has grown so much. I never wear my hair out on my channel, rarely. So I was like, let's switch it up. Ooh, this is pretty. Yeah, I said this has really good medium coverage. Ooh, it's so pretty. And look at that dew. We'll see how this wears because dewy products, they just don't be wearing well on my skin. This is so pretty. I remember loving it, so maybe we'll see how this wears. I really like the coverage of it. Like, wait a minute, ColourPop. Sorry I slept on this foundation. Like, it literally feels like there's nothing on my skin. I love it. I mean, do we look good or do we look good? I'm not gonna lie to you, I meant to do my eye makeup first, but I was so excited to rediscover this foundation that I forgot. But that looks so good. Okay, now let's actually go back to the eyes. I'm gonna go in with my Dominique Cosmetics Everlasting Eye Base. It says 24 hour increase proof. I, when I first tried this, I don't know how I feel about it. I think I prefer a little bit of a thinner formula, more sheer, but we're here to try it again. But yeah, this spreads very easily and it's only $12 and this will last you a very long time. But I chose this eye primer one because I haven't used it since I tested it out. Cause the Believe Beauty one and the e.l.f. one are my absolute favorite. But also it has a little bit of a lighter base. So hopefully the eyeshadows pop. I'm super nervous for the eyeshadow. <sighs> okay, so for eyeshadows I have two palettes because I didn't know which one was gonna 
go with my skin tone. But the first one is the Juvia's Place Warrior 3 palettes. And I'm probably going to use this blue right here and then this shimmer right next to it. But we'll see. <sighs> These bold colors, they scare me, y'all. And then I have the ColourPop Mad About Hue palette. This, I've used this before for a pop of color, but it didn't really do what I needed it to do. So we're going to see. And I'm thinking about using this very light color up here. It's a little bit darker in person. But last time I used, I think, yeah, I used like these three colors. And it just didn't turn out how I wanted it to. It wasn't as vibrant. But I, from looking in the pan, I can see that these colors are a little bit more soft. While the one from Juvia is a little bit more thick, like a traditional eyeshadow formula. So we're going to see. Your girl's nervous. I am nervous. I guess I can wait till this dries down a little bit more. I'm going to try to set it just a little bit, like the tiniest bit. I'm going to use this later on. This is the Olimar Cosmetics Hydrating Complexion Trio. And I'm going to use a tiny bit of this brightening shade, just like the tiniest bit. Because I'm trying to see, should I set it or not? Y'all, I wasn't recording. That's crazy. But I'm using the Juvia's Place color. I'm using this shade in the Juvia's Place. But I might have to add the ColourPop color because I do want it a little bit lighter. But I love this color. This blue. Is this like a... What kind of blue is this? It's like a cyan color. But this is pigmented. Like, right off the bat. Then again, I only used one color in the ColourPop palette. I only used the yellow oranges colors in the ColourPop palette so the other shades might be pigmented but they weren't this pigmented right off the bat but I also don't remember if I used the eye primer in that video like look at that it's so pretty this color is stunning does anybody else's eye just like automatically do that when something gets near like I'm trying not to but it's like a reflex yeah this color Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to do a look with just this color. And it builds up so nicely. Wait, wait. Why did it take me so long to use this palette? Because I'm telling you, I got this like two Christmases ago, two or three, and I haven't used it. Because I'm more of a neutral girly. But it's spring time. It's time to play with color. Look how smooth. Okay, I think I like this eye primer a lot more now than I did before. I'm gonna try this color in the ColourPop. We gonna see. It's very pretty, but it's very light. It's in the shade Got Ice. So let's see, cause I do wanna lighten this up cause it doesn't really match the shirt. I don't have a blue shirt to match and I wasn't gonna buy one. Oh, this color is beautiful. That's that color. See, it's a lot lighter, but it still doesn't really match my shirt. So hopefully mixing, that's the darker one. And that's the lighter one. Oh my gosh, look how pigmented that is. Good lord. So maybe I didn't use the eye primer last time. I used this ColourPop palette. This is a beautiful color. I'm going to be so sad to take this off. Yeah, I think you can tell the difference. This one's a little bit lighter, which is more what I'm going for. This one's cute too. But today, we're going for bold, bright. Ooh. Am I in love? Are we beautiful or are we beautiful? I don't usually do this. So I'm like taken aback, but I, I, wait, I actually love it. So I think that's the color I'm going for. Does it match? It might still be a little bit off, but child, this is the best that I could do. Okay, so I guess we can finish off the eyes because I'm dying to see what the lashes look like with it. And I'm dying to see what the winged liner is gonna look like. Wait, that's what I was gonna do. I knew I wasn't done with the eyes. I think I'm going to do a shadow liner and we're going to see how it goes. So I'm going to jump back into the ColourPop palette and I think I'm going to use the darkest blue, which is called Type A. Is that pretty? Do we like that? Oh my gosh, I'm breathing hard. <laughs> is this pretty? I think I like it. We're going to keep it for now. Now I'm going to curl the lashes. I'm going to have to do this off camera. Because I haven't put on makeup in a while, y'all. Because I haven't been feeling like it. You know, I just, I don't know. I've been feeling kind of bled lately. That's why I was like, let me do something bright and colorful and happy. So I'm going to have to do the lashes off camera. I'm going to go in with the Kiss Muses Collection lashes in the style Nobelese. I think these will look so beautiful. 
and they won't take away from the eyeshadow. So, child, let me try. I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on. I mean, I mean, my inner quarter started watering, so I might have to re-glue that, but y'all, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, wow, this is beautiful. I have my trusty cotton swabs here. I'm gonna clean up any blue eyeshadow that got on my under eyes because we're about to go in with concealer. I went for a more matte concealer, but I kind of want to do something else. This is the Urban Decay Naked Quickie Concealer. I really love this concealer. It's more matte and I wanted to contrast, but I think it's a little bit too dark. Hmm. You know what? Since we have the ColourPop foundation, let's use the concealer that goes with it. This is the Pretty Fresh Concealer. Never used this. And this is in the shade the Medium Dark 145W. Looks really light, but we're gonna make it work. I've heard really good things about this concealer, so I'm excited. I can't stop looking at the eye makeup. Okay, we actually did that, we did. Oh. This is going to be a good match. Oh, I love how creamy it feels. It reminds me of the Catrice Hydrating Conceal. I loved that one. Oh, this feels great. Hold on. Hold on, ColourPop. Angle Concealer Brush from Anissa Beauty, of course. Okay, well, a little bit goes a long way. I use too much. Ooh. I'm getting, like, so hype right now. Because the vision has come together. I didn't think it was. But it did. I'm so thankful that it did because, child, it was gonna be my last straw if it didn't work out. I will say it is a bit more on the dewy side. But this blends super easily and I love the consistency of it. Oh, this is so pretty. This is like an everyday concealer. Very beautiful. I agree with the name. Pretty fresh. How do we, let me, it up close how do we like this i really like this i'm gonna build it up just a tiny bit on the skin it looks like wider can you see what i'm talking about that's what i just applied but that's what it's blending out i wonder if it's just a light hitting my skin i don't know very interesting it's like it got lighter i don't know how to explain that you see what i'm talking about how it looks like it's lighter when you blend it out and when it sits on the skin. I'm so excited about this next product. It is the One Size Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. I got this for Christmas. Like this packaging is huge, like huge. And I have this in the shade Rich Batch. How do you say it? Is that how you say it? I know what it's trying to say, but I'm not gonna say it, not on my channel. Ooh. The mirror is beautiful. Look at this color. Ooh, I just needed a nice neutral blush because I didn't want to go too crazy because we already have like a bright, beautiful eyes. So let's go ahead and use this because I'm excited. And it comes with a little cover. I heard really good things about these. And it comes with a powder blush and like a highlighter, which can, ooh, which can be used as like a blush topper. This packaging is beautiful. And I've seen that these are super pigmented. Okay. I'm a little nervous, but we're, we're gonna do it. Ooh, this is beautiful, this color. Oh, yes ma'am. Thank you, Patrick, for making this because this is beautiful. I, yes, I, yep, mm-hmm. We're gonna see how it wears and layers and things like that, but look at that, hold on. Blush always gets me hyped and excited. Look at this color. The look, yeah, the look is here. The look is coming together. Yes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I might have to take pictures. I don't wanna jinx it, but I might have to. Ooh, look at that, it's beautiful. Like literally stunning. Mm-hmm. This formula, so creamy, so blendable. Like it, you don't have to do anything. You don't, like I just placed it and I'm good. I probably should've did the bronzer first, but I was so excited. I feel like I don't need to do bronzer, but I have this new one I wanna try out. We can do a little bit of cream bronzer, just a little bit, just a tiny bit. So I'm not gonna use that Olimar product. Wow, we're gonna come back to use the powder and the highlighter. That is beautiful. So next, oh, let me open it. 
Next up, I have the Milani Cheek Kiss Bronzer in the shade 130 Spicy Season. Ooh, this is beautiful. I heard that this is very creamy, very blendable. I hope it is too. So I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. I thought I had a number on it. Yeah, 401 brush. Ooh. Oh yeah, I like this. Hold on. I'm like actually gagged. I love this color on me. I'm not really a bronzer person, but why is this shaking me to my core right now? And by looks of it, you can definitely build it up. Are we living for this look or are we living for this look? Oh my gosh. Now, I think, oh yeah, I meant to tell you. I used Ulta Beauty Maximum Lashes Mascara for my lashes. I'm gonna do it for the lower lashes, but I forgot to tell y'all. But for powder, under eye powder, I'm gonna go in with this Nana powder from Metamorphosis. Look at this packaging, so beautiful. I have this in the shade Cookie, and it's more of like a banana powder, so we're gonna use it for the under eyes in the T-zone, and I have a different powder for the face. Wow, I forgot how good this powder is. This is a very nice powder. Very nice. I'm gonna do the T-zone real quick. Yes, I love it. This powder, wow, I forgot how good this powder really is. Like I really did. Wow, blown away. Okay, now for pressed powder, I'm gonna go in with the Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder. So that looks like it's so big. I have this in the shade 9202 and we're gonna just Top off the makeup. This powder is so good. Like, I love the way it makes my makeup look. And I love that you can still see the cream blush. Yes. Oh, and I can still see the bronzer. Yep. We're gonna set the brows. This is the NYX Thick It Stick It. I love this. Just got a new one. I have this in the shade Espresso. I love this. I don't think I talked about this on my channel either but I love this. I think I put my mom onto this too. I love the little fibers it has. The e.l.f. one is good too, but I wanna switch it up. You have to be careful with this though. It has some color to it. You know what, let's finish up the eyes. I'm dying to see what that shimmer looks like. This is, I'll show you what, ooh, smooth. I was taking it back. This is more of a sheen, but look at it, it's like an icy color. This is the other shimmer. Right there, that's the other shimmer. I'll start off with the more icy one and we can see how it looks. This is the one that I'm going in with. The more icy one, so let's see. That's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. I didn't have to spray my brush. You love that. Does it match? I don't know if it matches or not. Let's see what the other color looks like. Congo, I just topped it off right here. That's so pretty, actually. I like them mixed together. <gasps> Juvia, why do you keep popping off on me? Ooh, and it's sparkly. Hold on, I just had a moment, hold on. Again, I'm just gonna mix the two colors I used on my lids, on the lower lashes. Don't you just love when a look comes together? I love it, y'all. I feel so pretty. Now for a lower lash mascara, I'm gonna go in with the Ulta one again. It's truly my favorite mascara. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the cheek palette. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm so happy. I love it so much, y'all. That is so pretty. I love how smooth it looks on my skin. It looks kind of blurred. Now I have two highlighters. One is in the palette, but the other one is the Koki Soft Glow Highlighter. I really love this highlighter. So intense, so beautiful. So we'll see. This looks more like a blush topper since it is, since it has a similar color. So we'll see how it looks. Even the highlighter is smooth. I'm just gonna use it as a blush topper. I'm not gonna build it up. Wait, I didn't think I was gonna like the highlighter. Wait, I'm like actually getting shook. Hold on. This palette is a winner for me. I love it. It is so pigmented, so smooth, blurring, and buttery. I love it so much. Okay, I don't think I need to go in with the Koki highlighter, but I'll do it. I just, just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. I'm gonna dip in there, just, just the tiniest bit. 
Oh, mm-hmm. Gonna use the NYX lip pencil in the shade Espresso. I don't have like a, a lip liner that matches the lips like perfectly. And then I'm gonna go in with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Brownie Drip. Oh yeah, it matches the blush. I love the NYX Butter Gloss. This is a new shade for me. Wait, I think I like this. That is the completed look. It turned out so well, so beautiful. I love these palettes. I was on the fence about the ColourPop one because the last time I used it, and I'll link that video for you guys, last time I used it, it wasn't that pigmented, but I don't think I used the eye primer. So I'm thinking you need an eye primer with these. And I feel like with the Juvia's Place one, you don't need to use the eye primer because they are so pigmented. These are more like traditional eyeshadow formula. I don't know if you could see what I'm talking about. Let me zoom out just a little bit. This is like a traditional eyeshadow formula. So it's a little bit thicker, a little bit more heavy, if that makes sense. And then this one from ColourPop is a little bit more airy. I don't know if you can tell a difference in the formula, but like in person, just by looking at them, they look like different formulas. This one's a little bit lighter, a little bit more buildable. This one's a little bit more pigmented right off the bat. So it just depends what you like. And obviously the color stories color schemes are different but yeah these work so beautiful together and i love the two blue colors mixed together and i love that darkest shade as eyeshadow it's so so pretty the liner it looks so pretty i love it so much so these definitely keeping both of these and i can't wait to use this yellow in here and i forgot to set the makeup because i got too excited so let's do that i'm going to use the elf stay all night microfine setting mist i love this All right, now we're done. So that is today's look. I really love the way it came out. I was scared, but I had to trust the process. I had to stop downing, and I really, really enjoy it. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yep. I'm trying to think of what color I could do next. I'm excited. I might start a series on my channel where I do like colors like this, like really bold colors. I don't know, I feel so pretty. It's so out of my comfort zone, but I really, really love it. Let me know what you think. I always say I'm sending so much love and positivity your way because I actually mean it. Who doesn't want to be positive and happy? Okay, this look makes me happy and I'm hoping my positivity and my happiness can rub off on you. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.